This is a brief how-to video that will cover the basics of configuring and monitoring an in-series diagnostics chain with a banner safety controller. Within Series Diagnostics, or ISD, you can connect multiple safety devices to a controller in a single chain, and it allows you to access real-time diagnostics data without extra equipment or wiring. ISD requires a bill of materials with compatible components to operate. You will need either an SC10 or an XS26-ISDD. For safety products, we have ISD-enabled RFID safety switches and emergency stop buttons, and we have ISD Connect adapters that allow you to add non-ISD-enabled products, such as standard e-stops and many of Banner's other safety product offerings. Lastly, you will need T-adapters to connect each component to the chain, and a terminating plug to cap off the end of the chain. When physically connecting the components, it's important to note that the chain requires a 24-volt DC power supply with the same ground as the safety controller. Each chain also requires two safety input terminals. Once connected, you will need to add the ISD chain to the configuration. You can do this by adding it to the equipment list in the safety controller software. You then need to identify all of the devices in the chain, thereby assigning each device a value. There are two methods to performing this task. The first method is to manually select the number of devices in the chain as well as each device type. You can also rename each device to provide more specific identifying information. For this method, the devices are numbered with device number one position closest to the terminating plug and increasing the closer they are to the controller. The images in the ISD properties window provide a helpful reminder of this order. The second method is to use Auto-Detect ISD. Instead of selecting a number of devices from the drop-down menu, click the Auto-Detect ISD box and click OK. Once the configuration is complete, write it to the controller and restart the unit. After completing this process, the controller will automatically detect the ISD chain connected to it and it will identify each component type. This method numbers the devices in the opposite order of the manual method, with device number one position closest to the controller and increasing the closer they are to the terminating plug. Once the controller and ISD chain are configured, the ISD tab in the software will provide real-time status and diagnostic data for the chain. To access this information, connect the controller to your PC and enter live mode. The software provides color-coded status indicators to communicate each device's output status, as well as any alarm states that the device may be experiencing. By clicking on a device, you will also be provided with extensive diagnostic information. For example, the RFID switches provide information on supply voltage, internal temperature, actuator distance, various error codes, and a plethora of other data. That covers the basics of configuring an in-series diagnostics chain with a Banner Safety Controller. For more information, visit BannerEngineering.com.